Hey, seventh grade, Mr. Nichols here, and we're in week 16. We're talking about geological properties. We should be able to explain something known as folds. So when you look at this picture, what do you see? Moving around the desert southwest, we see lots and lots of folds. This view is near the Valley of the Gods in Utah. Can you see all the types of folds mentioned? All the fold mentioned in this text are found in the arid southwest US. Deep within the crust, as plates collide, rocks crumple into folds. You can model these folds by placing your hands on opposite pieces, sides of a piece of cloth and pushing your hands together. Your hands move towards each other, creating compressive stress. In sedimentary rocks, you can easily trace the folding of the layers. In this image, you can trace the folding of layers. The rocks are layered, but they are no longer horizontal. They tilt downward from left to right in a monocline. Once rocks are folded, they do not return to their original shape. There are three types of folds, monoclines, anticlines, and synclines. We're going to talk about each of these different types. A monocline is a simple one-step bend in the rock layers. In a monocline, the oldest rocks are at the bottom and the youngest are at top, on the top. But they have been slightly shifted. Notice how these rocks are not horizontal exactly. They're a little bit higher on the left and lower on the, on the right. <clears throat> they are tilted in one direction, forming a monocline. An anticline is a fold that archered, arches upward. The rocks dip away from the center of the fold. The oldest rocks are found at the center of an art anticline. The youngest rocks are draped over them at the top of the structure. When the upward folding rocks form a circular structure, that structure is called a dome. If the top of the dome is eroded off, the oldest rocks are exposed at the center. A syncline is a fold that bends downward. In a syncline, the youngest rocks are at the center. The oldest rocks are at the outside edges. When rocks bend downward in a circular structure, it's called a basin. If the rocks are eroded, the youngest rocks are at the center. Basins can be enormous, like the Michigan Basin. A syncline is a concave downward fold. This syncline is seen at Calico Ghost Town near Barstow, California. And I've actually seen that one myself. In summary, rocks deform by compressive stresses into folds. A monocline is a simple bend in one direction. An anticline, rocks arch upward. A three-dimensional anticline is a dome. In a syncline, rocks arch downward. A three-dimensional syncline is a basin. So, if you think you can answer the questions that are coming up next, please feel free to do so. If you'd like to view the video one more time, at this time, you would want to do that and take a few notes along the way so that you can do very well on the questions. We'll talk to you later.